This is a short video that will show you how to set up your Youth Voices account by updating your profile picture or your avatar, by updating your cover photo or the large photo that you'll see at the top of your profile, and then by creating your first status update. So first you log into Youth Voices um, and you'll know that you're logged in if you see your name next to the word home. So there's a tab that says home and then this should say your first name um, and then home. And you'll see a bunch of different options on this menu, but you'll want to start by clicking on what's new. And this will take you to your profile. So I already have a profile picture because it carried over from my Gmail account. You may or may not. Um, and then this gray rectangle will become my cover photo when I choose one. Uh, and then this is my profile. So you can see there's some activity already. Um, but what I'm going to show you to, how to do is uh, change or update your profile photo or your avatar and your cover photo and then create your first status update. So if you look at this menu kind of in the middle of the page, you want to go all the way to the right where you see this little um, icon. And then if you click on the downward facing arrow, You'll see another menu with profile settings, account settings, widget settings, change avatar, change password. You can just click here to change the avatar, but I think the profile settings page is more useful. So here you can um, change your profile avatar as well as your photo um, and log out. And so there's lots of different things you can do here. So your profile avatar is important because it's the picture that's going to be associated with all your activity on this page. And it's kind of like your online identity. So you want to choose a picture that literally is your face or a picture that represents you in some way. Um, and you'll see that on Youth Voices, there's a whole variety of, of pictures that people choose. Um, so choose whatever you're comfortable with it as long as it's appropriate for school and it's something that represents you. Um, so you can take a photo literally by using the webcam on your computer or you can upload a photo. Um, I have not had success uh, dragging files from the internet, um, like searching something up, so you need to download the picture first. So I've done that already. Um, I'm going to select my file. So this takes me to a folder um, where I saved, you know, other pictures like this. But I'm going to show you how to do a photo of yourself as well. Um, so I have a picture saved in, um, saved on my computer. And this is a photo of myself. But you'll see um, it's quite a large photo. So what this will ask you to do is crop this. You want to pick a photo that you can make um, fairly small. I actually like the green background better. Um, because your profile will look pretty small. Um, so you want a picture that works well um, and as a small with a small size. And then to finish, you click crop image. You could also, if you wanted to, um, select this whole picture. But that doesn't really make sense for this particular picture. When you're done, you select crop image. And it will take a moment, but you're, you should see um, a green bar that says your new profile photo was uploaded successfully. And next, you want to update your cover photo. So you can click on the pink icon that says profile cover, has the picture of the camera. And you want to select a cover image. So the cover image, as you saw, is like a large rectangle. So you want to use a really large picture, otherwise the quality will not be good. Um, so this says um, the pixel sizes that you need, but uh, you can just test it out using different pictures too. Um, so I have some pictures saved on my desktop. Um, I think I'm going to choose this one. Maybe this one, I don't know. So I'll select the picture, you'll see it upload, and you won't see it, that it worked right away. What you'll want to do is uh, go back to the home screen. And on the home screen, uh, you can go back to your home page by clicking on what's new. 
sorry, not your home page, your profile page. And then the pictures should have um, uploaded. Obviously, I needed to fix this one a little bit because um, you can't really see it. So um, I can go ahead and do that by going back to profile settings uh, and choosing um, choosing a different photo or making changes to the one that I uploaded. And a quick way to get back to your profile page is to click on the yellow icon, which says view profile. So home will take you to the, the home page of these voices. And then the profile page will take you to your personal profile. So I've updated my avatar. I have a cover photo in the background. And then the last thing to set this up is I want to do a status update. So I can say, today I am feeling good because I am setting up my youth voices account. So um, before you post, you want to make sure that um, you are comfortable with how public your post is. So you can share it so that it's only me. Um, so that means no one else can see it. You can share it with friends. You don't have any friends on this site yet. Um, basically, you can share it only me or uh, make it public. If you wanna make it private, that's fine. As your teacher, I can still see that. So I can add um, emotions. You'll notice this is very much like um, a lot of social media pages and make sure you click post before um, leaving this page. And so you can see that I successfully posted this publicly. If I realize I did that by mistake, I can click the three dots at the top um, and I can edit my comment or just delete it. And I can delete it and start over. So let's say I changed it. I wanted to make it a private comment. Let's yeah. bring a little more private that I don't want to share with anybody. Uh, and then I can add some emojis like this. And then I can post. But I'm the only person who can see this, nobody else. So that little lock symbol shows that it's a private post. All right, so to review, I can tell that I have successfully set up my Youth Voices account because I have a profile picture or an avatar that's gonna appear all over the site wherever I post things. I have a cover photo and I have one status update, which I decided to make private. And that's, and I'm all done setting it up for now.